Hey everyone, it's RT with another Railroad Edition update. Today we're going to show you how we set the cases up on the machine in a way that it can finish everything except for the flutes on the bezel all at once. Hey everyone, this is RT coming to you from the Vortex shop today. We just wanted to show you how the Railroad Edition cases are coming together. And we got our Haas CNC mill behind me. This is a VM2. And right now, if I switch it, what we're doing is we're taking this piece of titanium and this piece of titanium and we're making the larger one into the case and the smaller one into the bezel. And what Tyler's able to do on this machine is actually set up everything except for the fluting of the bezel. So those are those slots that we put in the bezel. Um, we're able to do everything except for that operation, putting those slots in, all in one run of the machine. So you can see we actually have five things set up right now. And coming closer to me right here, again, we're taking this block of titanium, that's going right here in the center, and this is obviously before and after, right? So here's your after shot of the case, that's your first operation on the case, and then next, after that gets finished, we take that part, put it over here, and that's operation number two, that's doing the top, threading the inside for the bezel. You see if I can get a little closer, we're actually putting our signature there underneath the bezel, which I'm pretty proud of, Vortec Watch Company right there. And then once that operation is done, then it comes over here, gets onto the fourth axis, and that's where we actually put the holes in the lugs. We put that hole there for the pendant basically for the crown and all of those parts and some of these other operations to clean up uh, the outside of the case. So that is the case and that creates one finished case part. And then next we have that smaller piece of titanium. That's what the bezel is getting made from. So first stop is back here. We have the first stop on the inside of the bezel. That's the part that gets threaded to meet the case. That's the one that takes a very long time because there's actually a dovetail cut that goes inside of there. We have some embedded O-rings inside of there. And then finally, we have the second operation on the bezel. And that is before we put the slots or the flutes in the bezel. So this operation on the machine, all five of these steps, all five of these parts, takes about four hours of machine time. And again, that gets us everything except for the flutes on the watch. So I'll get one out here for you in a second, and we'll take some pictures of it and share that with y'all. Um, but yeah, let us know if you have any questions. that's everything we wanted to show you today. Now it has threads, so the bezel will be removed with a couple of turns on and off with a standard thread system. All of that's functioning great. Next update, we'll show you a little more.